Okay, in this video, I'm going to show how to use Giphy to analyze your Facebook network. Okay, so um, with, um, you can go to Facebook. This is my Facebook account. And type NetWiz on the top. And so basically, it's going to extract your connections. So click on Personal Network. And... Um, Um, then just click on start um, if you select this option it's going to give some weights to the edges we don't want any weight storages just say start and uh, hopefully it's running okay it is running um, so it's going to take some a little time and okay so your connections are available as a GDF, GDF file uh, this is a format we want for Giphy so you can say save this as I already have it but let me save it on another name or let me just uh, let me just uh, overwrite it so okay so now what I'll do is I'll go to Giphy and um, <coughs> uh, just open as a new project. So you can open the GDF file. Okay. And you can make it undirected because in Facebook all connections are bi-directional okay and you can make it open so this is my Facebook network you can zoom it a little bit at the global level now if you click on labels it's going to label all your vertices uh, of course they are not that readable but if you go to a particular vertex you can see the connections to that vertex okay so um, now let's go to let's find some uh, run some metrics let's compute the average degree so this is a degree distribution mine follows somewhat like um, <coughs> an exponential distribution where I have um, uh, some vertices with a higher degree and then it keeps tapering like this okay mine is not that uniform okay so let's see let's do one more thing and then we'll color our uh, network um, we can try to find say the um, <coughs> uh, Let's find out to start with say the um, components so how many components does my network have is an undirected graph but it still has 21 components which means there are 21 distinct units that cannot be um, uh, connected to each other okay and we'll see it why so let me turn off the labeling for a while let's go to now uh, the um, coloring so I'm going to color the vertices with using my component ID since I found the components of 21 components so if you just look at the components um, these are the different components <coughs> okay um, of course let me go back and color them using something uh, let's color like this well this is okay all right the 21 components that's why it's difficult to color it so let's do the degree thing okay so let's preview this if you preview this you can see there are several vertices with high degree okay but there are also some vertices with low degree 
let me try to go back run some layout algorithm let's run this one Fletcher Mandarin gold so it tries to lay out my vertices right so if you see um, okay so there are several vertices that have no connections to the other vertices right so one way you can get rid of these vertices because these are creating the several components I said I have 21 components right that's because you have these vertices that you don't have that they don't have connections with other vertices in your graph so these are the people that you meet on the way uh, say when you're traveling in a train or somebody something and you just keep talking and okay let me put in my Facebook network but then after that you don't have uh, much communication with them as a result they don't get to know any of your other uh, Facebook people so uh, those are such vertices that are not connected to the rest of your Facebook network so one way to get rid of them is to using filters because they basically the degree is zero so go to filters click on topology and click on degree range so once you click on uh, degree range you actually you can pull it out drag the filter here and now you can move the bar and set select filters you can see it has more removed most of them okay there is one hanging out here it might have originally had three you see it had two connections uh, two vertices yeah so now it's degree range is 0 to 233 right so it had degree 2 this one had degree 2 so when you moved the bar to 2 it's allowing vertices that initially had degree 2 or above so if you move one more it gets removed uh, it gets rid of that with um, node so now let's go back to our statistics and rerun our components as an undirected graph so you see now I have only two connected components that's basically uh, so it's removing all the vertices that had a degree of two or less okay in my graph so now I can view my components let's to view the components more easily let's uh, okay uh, refresh okay uh, you could use the component ID to view your two components let's do that and uh, okay so the degree is still for the vertices okay let's apply the components so now you can see you have two components one is the set of vertices and the other is the set of vertices so you go to partition basically a component is like a partitioning of a network so go to partitions select nodes and then among the options choose component IDs so these are the two component IDs okay select apply you get to see these two different components okay very distinct components so a component by definition is what is the largest connected subgraph of a graph so uh, all these vertices together form one component and these vertices together form one component and you cannot and there's no connection between them okay so if you can preview this refresh this let me reduce okay so you see that these are the two different components that you have in your graph <coughs> and um, um, that's one way to look at uh, the different components now I can also see it as a modularity so modularity means in terms of communities communities means component is like two totally separated uh, portions of a graph uh, whereas a community is a set of nodes that are kind of closely related to each other it may be still connected to uh, the other communities okay so um, 
you can see here in this uh, graph I can see at least this is going to be one community this is another community this probably this is well another community this together can be one community so let's run the modularity and see how it looks like so there are seven communities identified and their size is given here so let's now refresh the partition and choose the modularity class as the measure to color the vertices so you can now see I have these different communities so again this is on its own a community as I said this is one separate community this is another one this is another one this is another one and so on now uh, if I label these vertices I can try to make sense out of it this is basically my um, uh, students at Jackson State University okay and this is my uh, college uh, people classmates uh, my undergraduate okay uh, um, and uh, this is my again my students at Jackson State uh, these are kind of my students who are basically from Asia from India and other countries international students I could say and these are students who are uh, US citizens or kind of um, 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 both are in Jackson State but uh, these are kind of local students so you can see uh, there are some common connections between them for example this student is connected to a student here and this student is connected not connected to anyone but um, this student is connected to some of the international students and so on okay so within the student community we can have within the student among the students we can have a community of the international students and a community of this US students and then this is my professional network of uh, like journals uh, um, people and this is my uh, personal network uh, uh, my wife and uh, family relatives and all those people and this is uh, my uh, school people a small network of like uh, my uh, k to 12 uh, people okay so uh, they're all kind of in one single component as we just saw but we can break them into different communities okay so they're all connected through one node or the other but uh, when it comes to kind of seeing and uh, so it tries to find those communities based on the number of edges connected to them and all these things and the similarity of this group of vertices uh, in terms of it doesn't look at it does because um, the algorithm doesn't know that they are from my college they are from my um, uh, studio my students or all these things it just tries to identify these communities based on the uh, number of edges connected among the vertices within a group and that's the uh, um, nature of this community detection algorithm it tries to just identify the communities based on the edges and uh, the uh, similarity among the vertices and uh, the degree and the edges to which the vertices the other vertices to which these vertices are connected to okay so it's very uh, good to see that just based on the topology information and the um, uh, distribution of the edges among these vertices it is it is able to find the different communities which makes sense in uh, which makes uh, sense in what we know about this vertices the uh, okay and what they correspond to okay so that is one thing you can uh, do using from Gephi now you can also find the run the network diameter and they, previously I was telling that you cannot find other than uh, eigenvector centrality in Gephi but actually once you run the network diameter you can also find the betweenness centrality and closeness centrality as well as its eccentricity um, what does betweenness centrality means it measures how often a node appears on the shortest path between the nodes in the network so basically it tells you 
uh, where is, is a measure of whether the other nodes go through this node uh, for communication with some other node okay so this is like between uh, uh, any two source and destination on the shortest path between any two nodes closeness centrality is a measure of how close is your node to every other node in the graph okay the average distance from a given node to every other node in the graph and eccentricity is the uh, maximum of those distances okay so closeness centrality captures the average distance whereas eccentricity uh, eccentricity captures the uh, maximum of the distance from a particular node to any other node okay so i can run this and it has found the betweenness centrality and all these things so you can see the diameter is 7 which means within a particular any of these two components that you have in this graph the maximum distance between any two nodes is 7 uh, for the whole graph put together and these are for the individual nodes uh, it's not above 7 you see uh, so the maximum distance any uh, like the on uh, you can see 5 is typically the largest value uh, you have for like uh, majority of the vertices but it can go up to seven okay then uh, you can have the closeness centrality this as I said is the um, uh, shortest the minimum how uh, sorry the average distance uh, from a particular node to every other node in the graph and between a centrality is um, like a measure of the number of shortest paths uh, a particular node lies in okay so between a centrality can be very interesting to visualize so let's put it on the, the node size and see how it is coming up so you can see for each community you have one node which is kind of like the uh, hub of that network of that community it every uh, every other node in that community goes through that uh, node and also to connect to uh, the other communities okay so you can look at this this node connects to uh, one community another community here and it also not not this is these two are the same community uh, so it connects to this one so it connects to three other communities okay uh, this this and this one so it connects to three other communities this one also connects to three other communities and this is my wife and uh, she's connected to all the other you know, what is in our family side and to this community and this one connects again to uh, uh, several other communities okay so as I said all these things are in one component so they have to go through such critical nodes in order to uh, reach out to vertices in the other communities okay and all these communities together are still in one component this there is no single uh, node that is dominating between a centrality everything is almost the same within this community so I can visualize this so you can see for the different communities you have the vertices uh, with uh, one or more vertices the high between a centrality okay um <coughs> so let's see what else so the fetcherman rain gold um, layout is probably very good to visualize this facebook as a kind of uh, uh, in a circular fashion the facebook network now you could also try to run something else um, this is an undirected graph so the hub and authority score and page rank are of not that significance and uh, let's run and see the clustering coefficient okay so this is my distribution of the clustering coefficient and so we'll see how the um, um, clustering coefficient comes up for the uh, vertices okay so um it is that have a high clustering coefficient means they are more likely to be of lower degree right so let's plot this with respect to degree uh, so let's make my clustering coefficient uh, as color instead of size 
and let's make my degree as the size of a node okay so you can see here <coughs> my coloring runs from this color to this color so let's make it black and white to make it easy to visualize uh, again uh, let's see if I select uh, this it should be a black and white okay so vertices with low degree have high clustering coefficient typically and this node has very high degree you can see but it is relatively le uh, uh, light so when it is relatively light it means it has low clustering coefficient this one you see it has very high degree but it has low clustering coefficient okay high degree low because they have to be connected okay uh, there could be like this guy has is relatively darker because all of these people are uh, located in my school uh, sorry college and uh, probably they are all connected to each other okay so let's visualize it and see in terms of clustering coefficient okay so these are this is a uh, closely knit community um, so they are all connected well to each other uh, this is my college people like uh, my, uh, where I studied this is where I uh, my students and they are all kind of connected to each other and this node is connected uh, the neighbors of this node are connected well to each other okay so that is something you can look at in Facebook um, anything else so average degree is 10 the diameter is 7 okay so stop here